Long, long time, regardless of the outcome. <laughs> Been a lot of things going on on the floor, and it's not all basketball. But ISU has gotten themselves back into the basketball game by playing very physical and very tough man-to-man -to -man defense. And on the offensive end, getting offensive, good offensive possessions. It looks to me like the go-to guy right now is Steve Fitch. Yeah, Fitch has got a 15-point performance. And he seems to be feeling it. Yeah, 11 of them in the second half, so he's on a, on a run right now. All right, ISU will inbound the basketball. Wimmeter will pull the trigger. Foul to Donna. Low to Kern. Bryant to the hoop. Blocked beautifully on the inside. Nice defensive play by uh, Brent Sherrell. ISU now shooting 47%. Drake 56% on 20 of 36. ISU is 16 of 34 from the field. Rebounding 21-18. Drake, but ISU is really close to Gavin. Here is Kern over a plane. Sams and makes the steal. Brian Kern has come of age perhaps tonight yes. at Redbird. Pass to Altadonna, left side, looks low to Vandegaard, nothing there. 43 apiece, 6.07 to go. Now there's something there, Vandegaard's got the ball. And there was a foul. Foul on the play, ISU has its first lead in a long, long goes to Brent Sherrell. Well, you know we do a lot of games like this all season long, Cal, in basketball. Sometimes we say it's the season that never ends. But you only have a few like this one. Right. It, seemed, it, it really seems to be electricity in the second half. And Brian Curran, for a freshman, really came in and did a bang-up job. Vandegaard tried to increase the margin to three. He does. <laughs> Illinois State at the line in the ball game is now 9 of 11. Drake is 1 of 4. 46-43, Illinois State. The Bulldogs. Mark Prilo with the basketball for Drake. Out front to Brett Sherrell. Brett holds the basketball. Cross pass right side now to Sams. Sams puts a move on. Jostled by Fowler and foul by Fowler. It's too bad. Scott did put his hand on him to hold him, but it, uh, Mike Vandegaard was there to help him. So there was no, he was going nowhere. Look at the foul column. Uh, Wimhainer has three for Illinois State. Vandegaard three for Drake. Um, Kevin Sams, who's at the free throw line, has three. So Sams is 0 out of 2 at the stripe tonight. Drake one is in the bonus. Three. Drake is in the bonus, and ISU is not. That could be a factor. Sam, not if Sams keeps shooting free. them like that. <laughs> yeah, that was a real brick. The rebound of Vandegaard. Looked like the halftime shooting contest. <laughs> Todd Cagle out there now, replacing Richard Thomas. They're giving Richard a breather, and the point man now is Wimhainer. Cagle. Interesting, and oh, we got a no. lane violation. You just don't find that call in college very often. He must have been in there for a while. Foul on, uh, not foul, but uh, lane violation on Scott Fowler. There's Jay Lowenthal standing up in front of the ISU bench. 46 to 43, Illinois State by three. The little guy brings the ball to the floor, 0 to 7. He is just about as quick as you can get. Over to Brent Sherrell, and the uh, ball is knocked out of bounds by Wimhainer. Wimhainer's got to be one of the top defensive young players in college basketball, doesn't he? Well, Todd said, if you're going to play with that ball, I'm going to knock it away from you, and that he puts pressure on the ball. Learned that under Jerry Leggett at Quincy. Here's Sam's tied up. Nice possession job by ISU. Vandegaard, and Excellent ISU will have job. it. Change of possession, the Redbirds have it. Mike Vandegaard riding with three fouls. A little bit the perils of Pauline that time, but he reached over the shoulder, tied up Sam's, and Drake wants a timeout. Timeout for Rudy Washington's Bulldogs. In a hostile arena, his team has played magnificently tonight. They're down three, however, 5-11 left. And we'll be back in just a moment. Washington has got a couple of other assistants with him, but uh, they've come in here and played ISU tooth and nail. The birds inbound. Good offensive possession right here for ISU. They need to get a good shot. Todd Cagle to Wimhainer. Wimhainer right side. Now Richard Thomas is out there, and yet they keep Wimhainer on the point. This is interesting. Thomas stays on the wing with Cagle, and Wimhainer playing the point guard spot. Here's Todd Cagle to Todd Wimhainer. Wimhainer pulls it up. It's going to come up short. It does. He got fouled on the shot, but there was no call. Taken down by Brent Sherrell. Brent Sherrell came up with a steal. You don't find a miss like that too often if a kid no. didn't get bumped. Kevin Sams holding high. And Sams gets the bucket to make it a 46-45 score. That was a big turnaround right there. So Sam's now with 24 points. Drake shooting 556 on 20 of 36. ISU 17 of 36, 472. Redbird lead is just one. Cagle from the side for three. Got it. 
was watching his dad when the ball was in the air, and he never blinked an eye. The kid from normal community put it out. His dad used to down. do that, too. 49-45. ISU by four. This is the biggest lead the Redbirds have had. I won't say enjoyed, had. Sams to Evans. They work low. Celestine. They get Good the help by Vandegaard. The double team. Nice job by Vandegaard. 346 to go. Birds bring it up. Thomas to Kegel. Kegel hit a three that weighed a ton a moment ago. Baseline Vandegaard back to Kegel out to Wimhainer. Wim Hader faked the long bomb, didn't take it. A lot of time on the shot clock. Looking for the good shot. 27 seconds left to shoot it. 49-45, Illinois State. Vandegaard to Wim Hader. Todd in the paint. Cross court to Richard Thomas. Against this matching zone defense, here's Vandegaard. Takes Sherrell to the baseline. Sherrell goes down. Off this time to Thomas. We're down to 12 seconds on the shot clock. Wim Hader, skip pass. Kegel, long bomb. Up in. Basket counts. Foul of the play. Big basket, and I was afraid they might wave it off because the kid charged into Vandegaard. Foul was called away from the play. Foul whistled on Brett Shirell. And it's so, that is so great to see Todd come in and hit those shots. They needed an outside threat, needed someone to shoot the outside jumper. Todd came in cold and hit two, two threes. It definitely picked us up. ISU is a three-point shooting team on the season. Is shooting 304, 35 of 115, coming into the ball game from three-point range. Kegel is three of nine coming into the ball game. Ball inbounded by ISU. It is not over and back. It was on the inbounds pass. A Illinois good State has on this possession. Seven-point margin, 52-45, with three minutes left to go in the ball game. Illinois State trying to battle from behind. They've been down as much as 11 in the ball game. Maybe even 12 once. Steve Fitch lost the basketball, was looking for a cross-court pass, was taken away from him. He got fouled from behind, but there was no caller. You only have two officials, and the officials weren't in position to see it. Otis Evans now gets it off to Murphy to Daphne on the baseline. Darren shot won't go. Batted out front. We got a foul called, and it's going to go against the Redbirds, I believe, Richard Thomas. Yep. Foul is on Richard Thomas. 52 to 45. Good crowd here at Illinois State tonight. They keep having games like this. The crowds will be bigger than this one. I sure didn't see that foul, Art. Did you? No, I did not. I'm starting to think like you, though. I haven't been working too many ball games with you. <laughs> You've been coaching for 100 years. You've never seen a foul of the opposition. Free throw by Sam's is good. Have <laughs> one more. He's clapping for himself. He said, I finally made one. 52 to 46. Second throw by Sam's. Got it. He got a pair. 52 47, five point lead. Drake has scored four points since the 10 43 mark in the ballgame. Again, our thanks to Brian Bloodworth. Well, this is a joint effort here tonight, isn't it? It sure is. This is all the help we can get. We've had medical reports, help from uh, Brian from the Panagraph. And our crew and so forth, 52-47, down to 219. Here's Todd Cagle. Ball is deflected out of bounds. Going to go back to Illinois State. ISU lineup now, Steve Fitch, Scott Fowler, Richard Thomas, Todd Wimhainer, and uh, Todd Cagle. Three-guard alignment. Yes, the three-guard alignment's made it tough. It's a tough cover for the matchup. It's really stretched the matchup. And as a result, they've had open jump shots, and they just happen to have hit them. Well, Drake is stuck with a matchup zone. Of course, uh, we go much deeper into the game. They may have to come out and really pressure for the ball and go a little man-to-man -man full court. Knocked away from Wimhainer. Wimhainer got it back. Boy, I'll tell you, battling 0 to sevens is a handful. He's only 5-4, but he is just as quick as can be. He's down there where the ball is. Yeah, he really is. Here's Steve Fitch. Fitch has played a big game for ISU. Cross court to Wimhainer. Wimhainer back to Todd Cagle. Cagle right corner. We're down to 15 seconds on the shot clock. That's plenty of time. Cagle from Fowler. Out front to Tom. Thomas, Richard Thomas backs it up. We're down to seven seconds on the shot clock. Down to five. Thomas penetrates, kicks the pass inside to Fowler, knocked her out loose. Well, they really didn't get a shot off. Time he expired did. anyway. Fowler couldn't handle the pass. It was a tough pass to handle, though. Drake comes back up the floor. Darren Daphne, six foot five inch kid from Los Angeles Fremont High School, works on Wimhainer. Twist back to the hoop. Nice move. In and out. Won't go. On the rebound, a foul. And this goes against Illinois State. It's on uh, Fowler. That was a tough call because both kids were going after the ball, but I couldn't see if Scott grabbed someone's arm or not. But I'll both kids were, fi were fighting after a loose ball. Illinois State got a break. That shot didn't go down on the inside. Yeah, that's true. 
Two shots, and they're going to put Daphne at the line, or this is uh, Celestine. Celestine will be at the line. Now, Brian Kern's going to come back in. That brings a round of applause from the fans here at Redbird Arena. He comes in for Steve Fitch. So, Jay Lowenthal now with the big lineup out there. Fowler, Kern. Well, not real big either. Fowler, Kern, and the three guards. Two shots for William Celestine of Drake. As you can see, he's a good free throw shooter. He didn't have to prove it, but he did. 52 <laughs> 48. Drake within four. ISU needs another score just to put it out of reach. With a good 45 left. second possession. William Celestine for the Bulldogs hits a pair. It's 52 49. Cagle, Richard Thomas. Don't get in the corner, Richard. Richard brings it across, down to a minute and seven seconds. Illinois State lead is just three. Wimhainer, ISU wants to run some clock. Spread things out a little bit. We're still in the matchup. Down to 56 seconds, and there you can see ISU and their version of the four corners. Curran, the only guy in the middle. Down to 50 seconds. Rudy Washington now is bringing his guys out a little bit. Down to 46 seconds. You see the clock in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. You got 13 seconds on the shot clock. Now we got to make our offensive move. They need to score. Wimhainer. Cross court. Retrieved by Cagle, but only three seconds left on the shot clock, and Drake took him off the hook. Sean oh, Murphy called for the reach-in foul out front. That's really a tough call for Drake, but an awful good one from ISU. There was three seconds on the shot clock when the foul was made at half court. And ISU goes on the bonus right here. Right, and it was very unlikely that ISU was going to get off a quality shot. Yeah. Well, the foul occurred actually with about two seconds left. The initial charge for the basketball with about three to go. And Murphy made contact, and Cagle, a pretty good free throw shooter, is at the line one and one. They need him. He missed it. Rebound long to Evans. Otis Evans has the basketball. 28 seconds left. ISU leads it by three. Whistle away from the play, and the foul has been called on Richard Thomas at Illinois State. That's his third. That. That stops the clock, of course, which is exactly what Drake wants to do. They're down 52 to 49. Illinois State's going to take the timeout right here. Anytime you get into this situation, it always comes down to a free throw shooting game. That was a big miss for ISU. Now all we can hope is Drake misses one as well. see our situation 24 seconds left to go 52-49 ISU when they get even if both free throws are made will not be affected by the shot clock the problem is they make the first one rebound the second miss so the birds really have to block out underneath and make sure that the worst thing that happens to them is two free throws being made here ISU has one timeout left two timeouts for Drake Celestine back at the line where he has drained it three out of four times on the evening. Drake came in with a one and three valley record. Two shot violation, Celestine at the line. Good look at William. Oh boy, he's popping him in, no question about that. I don't think the students bothered him any on that one. I don't believe so. 52-50, Illinois State. Celestine hits a pair. Good timeout. Now Drake awesome. is going to hit the take the timeout period. We'll keep it right here in a 52-51 ball game. The timeout here set, gives uh, Coach Washington a chance to set up his defense, get the matchups like he wants them, and try to deny the inbounds pass and also set up a trap on the first pass coming away. Well, ISU in a situation too where they hopefully want to get the ball in the hand of the best free throw shooter if possible. Exactly. Uh, if I had to guess right now, I'd guess Drake's going to foul Cagle. That's the kid that missed the last free throw, and uh, Tot's just going to have to step up and make the free throw. Cagle's biggest problem, he hasn't taken many free throws this year. He is four out of six at the line coming. Bounce pass. All right, let's see what happens. Mike Vandegaard to make the play in from out of bounds. He's looking, 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 gets the pass to Wimhainer. Wimhainer is fouled by Murphy. That was a quick foul. I don't think they... I imagine they were going to foul Todd then, but the different Todd. Yeah, it took one second off the clock. So now we have Todd Wimhainer going to the line in a one and one situation for Illinois State. Wimhainer on the season, shooting at an 82% clip at the line on 28 of 34. There you see Todd's. Uh, I think he's one of two tonight, but uh, Todd's a yeah. good free throw shooter as well. 
One out of two at the free throw line. Over an 80% free throw shooter on the season. The free throw up and off. No good. The rebound batted back out with 20 seconds left. Controlled by Thomas. The Wim Hater. And Wim Hater uh, just about tackled out front by the little guy, Otis Evans, his third foul. Wim Hater's going to go back to the line. Well, the ISU was very fortunate there. The well, rebound was, good, was swatted back out, and they got it. Here's it Wim Hater once out. again. It's a good tip out by Vandegaard, but you now Taj has got to step up and make the free throws. Searle had just tried to come in the game without reporting. <laughs> well, Searle comes in. They take the little point guard, Otis Evans, out. He's probably a better outside shooter. Yeah, Searle is 6'2", and Evans, of course, is 5'4". Also, Wimhainer, 1-1. One one. His club leads by 1 with 17 seconds. The free throw is missed. Wimhainer scrambles for it. Gets it in the corner. He made the save with 12 seconds. I hit a Richard Thomas to Cagle to Vandegaard. Vandegaard is hammered by Daphne. Two fouls on Daphne. We're down to seven seconds. I cannot believe that Todd, Todd Wimhainer came up with that, that shot. That is just total hustle and anticipation. That's just a super play by him. He was probably thinking, I'm going to get this. I'm not going to let this miss free throw beat us. That's there you right. see it. And he just went after it. He just reacted, came in from behind, and got the ball. Great, great play. Now the heat is on Vandegaard. He's one out of one tonight. Seven seconds left. ISU 52-51. Good. 53-51. Well, you're still not safe from the three-point shot, of course. Seven seconds left to go. Scott Taylor in for ISU. Scott Fowler's going to leave. They're trying to guard for the three. That's why they've substituted uh, Taylor. They're trying to match up on the three shooters. Vandegaard at the line. They need it. He gets it. ISU by three. Seven seconds left. Drake takes the timeout. Well, of course, they'll try to set up the three. What do you anticipate here, Cal? All coaches have several three-point plays that they go to with their primary three-point shooter and their secondary three-point. Illinois State lineup, Wim Hainer, Taylor, Vandegaard, Cagle, and Thomas. Drake going with uh, Celestine, Shula, Daphne, Sams, and Murphy. You can bet most of those guys can throw up the three. Right here, you might see a guard trying to penetrate and get the dish back to the three-point line. Serla's got it. He's going to try the three. It's on the way. It's no good. And ISU wins it. qualities than a presidential election, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I guess I should maybe say a presidential primary. At any rate, Illinois State has done it. They're 5-0 in the Missouri Valley Conference. And for the first time this year, they are a winning basketball team, 7-6 and six on the